You probably know J.R. Smith after this historic game when he blew a finals game for LeBron in 2018. A player who once averaged 41% from three point in a season and was an elite scorer. One bad moment changed his life forever. But what really happened to J.R. Smith after winning the 2020 NBA Finals with LeBron? Where is he now? Oh! How did he make it In 2009, Smith's stupidity cost a man his life. J.R. pled guilty to reckless driving and a wreck that killed his teammate, Andre Bell. Smith was sentenced to 90 days in jail. That was his darkest period in his life. Let's start from the beginning. He was actually the best player in his high school basketball team. He was an exception. So he entered the NBA directly from high school. He was the 18th overall pick in the 2004 draft for the New Orleans Hornets. He was named the Western Conference Rookie of the Month. He left the team in 2006 and went to the Denver Nuggets. In April 2009, Smith scored an NBA career high of 45 points against the Sacramento Kings. In 2012, Smith signed for the New York Knicks, where he was named the sixth man of the year. He was in the Knicks uniform until 2015, when the Knicks decided to trade him for the Cavaliers. In 2016, the Cavs won the championship. Smith won his first NBA title. He was a crucial player in the roster. But the most infamous play in NBA history destroyed his career when he forgot to score in the last seconds in Game 1, 2018 NBA Finals. He thought they were winning? After this big choke, they lost the game and the series. No one forgot about this moment. He actually became a meme. JR, Grinch here. Grinch. Let's talk about last year's Game 1. <gasps> Yikes. Dude, it was last year. Let it go. You're right. No turning back the clock now, huh? <laughs> Not funny. Only time will tell how... He admitted that he was drunk during that game. Everyone knows he was stoned. After that, his wife caught him cheating on her and separated. JR said, I went through a very depressed state for a long time. I am a big video gamer. I didn't even play NBA 2K anymore. I don't want to hoop. I don't want to work out. I don't want to play 2K. I don't want to do anything with basketball. In 2020, the Lakers decided to replace Avery Bradley, so they signed Smith. His role changed playing small minutes, but he became more of a mentor from the bench and managed to help LeBron winning the championship. Their coach, Frank Vogel, called a great story of redemption. After his second title, he retired and made drastical changes about his life. Since retiring, though, he's gone back to school. Now he is a star on his college golf team. He also talks about how immature his mindset used to be. We'd rather go throw $60,000 in, in, in the club, in the strip club. Go throw $60,000 than go feed 2,500 people in the hood. He once wasted $500,000 on an armored military vehicle with indestructible tires, bulletproof glass. It can survive bullets and RPGs. Maybe he has a beef with Russia? Just kidding. But now he changed his mindset and instead of throwing the money on stupid things, he actually started donating and caring for others. This is one of the most positive life-changing stories on a professional athlete. He is now living his best life as a college golf player with a clear mind. Please like and subscribe.